Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at the 10 youngest hackers who caused chaos. We're all used to seeing hackers in the news. Whether it be someone like Edward Snowden revealing government secrets or hacking groups messing with YouTube channels. Despite the stereotypes, not all hackers are a bunch of computer nerds. Some are just seemingly innocent kids. Before we begin, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment I subscribed and I'll try to reply. Coming in at number 10, we have Christopher Von Hassel. In 2014, a five-year-old boy named Christopher from San Diego became known to Microsoft. The reason why? One day, Christopher wanted to play some Xbox games that weren't age-appropriate. To get around this, he hacked into his dad's Xbox Live account to access the games. Christopher would simply go to his dad's account and type in an incorrect password. That would take him to a password verification screen, where he then used a Microsoft glitch and was able to hack into the account. This of course exposed a major Microsoft security flaw, which allowed anyone to hack into any Xbox Live account. When his dad found out, he contacted Microsoft, as this could potentially ruin some people's Xbox experience. Microsoft fixed the glitch, and even added Christopher's name to a list of security researchers who have helped make Microsoft products safer. Next up we have Ryan Clearly and Jack Davis. This 17 year old hacking duo from the UK caused widespread confusion and anger in 2012. And you likely know them as LOLSEC. They hacked into various companies, government agencies and websites. They hacked the CIA, the Pentagon and the English National Health Service, exposing many secret files. They became famous for pranking the Sun newspaper by replacing their homepage with an obituary of the website's owner and media mogul Rupert Murdoch. Unsurprisingly, after all of these hacks, the duo were arrested and are now serving jail time. Next up we have DJ Stolen. We're all familiar with celebrities getting hacked. Well, the most notorious celeb hacker is an American 17 year old known as DJ Stolen. He hacked into dozens of pop stars computers and stole a lot of unreleased tracks. He hacked and exposed the music of Lady Gaga, Kesha, Justin Timberlake, Mariah Carey and Leona Lewis. In addition to this, he downloaded images of Kesha without any clothing. He was sentenced to a year and a half in prison and was also sent to therapy for internet addiction. Next up we have Team Poison. In 2012, two 16 year old boys known as Team Poison hacked into the UK police's headquarters known as Scotland Yard. They recorded confidential phone calls made to and within Scotland Yard. They were able to bypass decades old security technology with expert hacking to listen to and record incredibly sensitive calls. These involved government strategies and even information on high profile criminals and victims. To add to this, they uploaded the secret calls to YouTube for the public to see. Almost like a real life silver from James Bond. The boys were arrested and sent to prison after a YouTube user called Scotland Yard to report the videos. I wonder if they recorded that call. Next up we have COD Hacker. In 2014, a 14 year old Irish gamer decided to hack online servers of Call of Duty MW2. He did this to obtain usernames, passwords and more information of Xbox Live users. The hack was discovered by Microsoft and his account was closed. You might assume that Microsoft took this kid to court, but on the contrary, they were so impressed they hired him to work for them to develop their security systems. Well, that's one way to work for Microsoft. Next up we have Youngest Hacktivist. A hacktivist is a hacker who hacks for the greater good. For example, those who hack the internet in countries where internet usage is banned. These hacks are usually carried out by genius and mindful people who tend to be fairly old. Well, in 2014, an 11 year old Canadian boy was found to have launched a series of DDoS attacks against Canadian government websites. He did this during the student protests in Quebec. The websites included the Montreal Police and the Quebec Institute of Public Health. He edited the homepage, seized data and shut the sites down for two days, causing $260,000 worth of damage. He was arrested but only served 18 months of probation after pleading guilty. Who knows what this kid will be able to do when he's older. Next up is real life Ferris Bueller. We all remember the scene in Ferris Bueller where he hacks his school's computer from his house to change his grades. When you saw this, you likely thought this was fantasy and wished you could do it yourself. Well, now you can. If you have a good deal of hacking knowledge, that is. In 2012, a 14 year old student at a New Hampshire school hacked into the school's computers from his home and changed his grades. His teachers were angry, but were also shocked at how amazing he was at computing. Not only did he make his grades better, but he also made the grades of his bullies worse. Looks like this hacker knows how to serve up some justice. 
Coming up next, we have Sci-Fi. Sci-Fi is a 10-year-old female hacker from California. She has hacked into many popular mobile games and has created and exposed glitches as well as hacking into the games. She says she got bored of waiting for farming games to pay out rewards. It was when she planted some corn that would take 10 hours to grow that she knew things had to change. She hacked the game to make the crops grow instantly and exposed the vulnerability to others. Is this girl a lazy gamer or a genius hacker? Next up we have Aaron Bond. This 14 year old boy has loved computers for as long as he can remember. At the age of 6, he proved his computing knowledge by programming apps. But by 14, he was already using his knowledge for bad. He hacked into his school's computer system after gaining access to an admin password. From there, he hacked all of the teacher's accounts and changed various passwords. He was expelled when his school found out. Despite his wrongdoings, his mother blamed the school for their lack of cybersecurity. Next up we have Betsy Davies. In 2015, 7 year old Betsy Davies from London hacked an open Wi-Fi hotspot and she did so using a basic computer laptop. She was able to access all of the phones and laptops connected to the free public Wi-Fi network. Due to this, she could hack email accounts, online bank accounts and other passwords. However, she had no deep knowledge of computers or hacking. So how did she do this? Well, she simply watched an 11 minute YouTube video on how to do it. She was later hired by a VPN website site which tests security. That's one way to land a job. And that just about wraps up this video. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you guys can vote for the most surprising hacker. But as always, thanks for watching, check out some more videos on screen right now, leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe!